And it was after this appointment that I like thought I was gonna have a nervous breakdown. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Guys, this is a very exciting video. If you're new to my channel, you just clicked on a good one. And these past few weeks, few months of my life have been insane because I just quit my job. I'm gonna be traveling across the country. And now I just picked out my wedding dress. A lot of exciting things, but I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys. The whole wedding dress shopping process wasn't the most positive for me. And it ended up uh, kind of just causing a lot of stress. And I, like a part of me considered not even talking about this because who wants their wedding dress shopping vlog to be sad? It wasn't sad. You'll see what I mean. But it's real. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who has experienced this. So for background, I went to three shops. Get this, the first dress I tried on at the first shop ended up being the one. And I specifically said, just kind of like in conversation with the bridal consultant, like there's just this one thing in wedding dresses that I don't like. And I remember she kind of just like smiled and said, okay, she pulled it for me. Guess what? It's the one, I love it. Like how weird is that? So that's why if you were going wedding dress shopping, keep an open mind. I had a specific vision for what my dress would look like. Mine doesn't look like that. I mean, it's not like, like opposite, but there are many elements where I just did not think I was gonna go there. And I went there and just trying it on, like obviously I'm not gonna show you guys the dress, but just like my face in the picture, nothing else compared to that. Oh my God. Wow. I just love it. You look amazing. Clance. And in a way, it kind of messed with my mind because I tried that one on and I'm like, woohoo, let's keep going. None of them compared. And if I'm being honest, I did not like 95% of the dresses I tried on. Not that I didn't like the dress. I didn't like what I looked like. And I'm just like, get this off. But it's like wedding dress shopping. So you have to come out. And obviously I wanted to do this vlog. It's kind of like when you go to the mall with friends and you, you both try on shirts or dresses, whatever. And you don't want to come out of the dressing room. So you don't. Well, I had to. So I'm just going to keep it real. That's, that's what this vlog is. We're keeping it real. And we'll get into later in the vlog, like what was happening and causing the stress. Stop number one is actually a place I've been to before. And the last time I was here, it was like 4.30 in the morning because I was actually here for a news story. So this is Fabulous Bridal in Covington, Kentucky. And one of the great parts about this spot is I feel like this is super inclusive of price range because some places are like don't even contact us unless you're willing to spend like 2500 bucks and that's just not me so i think the dresses here started around a thousand dollars and then they do go up probably to like i don't know four or five thousand but i am super excited <laughs> Since I already mentioned I chose the first dress, we're gonna go to dress number two. And this one, I was not a fan of, especially after trying on like my dream dress and then going to this. It just kind of gave me nothing. The fabric almost reminded me of like a tablecloth. I didn't like how the chest was just straight across. Like there are some that are pretty like that, but this was really straight across. I kind of more like sweetheart maybe, and I just was not really a fan of this dress at all. It also didn't really like cinch my waist at all. A lot of dresses will do that. This one did not. It just, it was a tablecloth in my opinion. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm really not trying to be like mean or anything, but I'm just gonna be that honest. This next one, really, really not a fan. And my bridal consultant asked me, do you like lace? I didn't even know what lace was. Like I was like, what? Yeah, I guess. I have discovered through this process, I do not like lace. And yet I didn't realize it until like after this whole process. So you're gonna see me try on a lot of lace. I am just not, not a fan of this at all. It's just, ugh. And I think this is what you would call A-line, which I also realized I'm not a fan of because A-line to me is very underwhelming. In, in just my opinion, like I am more of like a ball gown kind of gal I realized. And these are all things I realized after. So yeah, I really wish I had these revelations a lot sooner. This one I actually loved. I liked how the lace was not overpowering. I really just liked the whole chest area. Like they had sparkles and oh my gosh, that's one thing that's really not being picked up by the camera. There are sparkles and glitters like throughout the dress. You can see it like very well in real life, but not so much on camera, but I just loved this dress so much. I even had to go to a different mirror to look at myself in this dress. But what ended up making this dress a no-go is there was cleavage involved. And that was my one, like I do not want cleavage on my wedding day at all. I'll just feel so uncomfortable on my wedding day. And this wasn't like 
sexy cleavage, if that makes sense. It's just spillage, like from not really fitting into the top as well. And that was not gonna go away no matter how I altered it. It's just the way, there, there really weren't any cups, if that makes sense. So that's what really ended up making me say no to this dress because I just don't want cleavage on my wedding day. This one, really not a fan. It just felt so underwhelming. It was once again like that tablecloth material which I've realized I'm not a fan of and I don't mean to be offensive. This looks beautiful on so many brides. It's just on me. I truly do think I make it look like a tablecloth. I also am not as much of a fan of the chest area. Like that's just not my style. And I don't like how it doesn't really cinch at the waist either. It kind of just flows. It's ball gown, so I like that, but definitely not a fan. This one was definitely giving a lot of cleavage, so it's a no-go. Do you guys also see my mom's finger like kind of hovering on the camera? She was she was having some troubles, but this one, it just was not it. Bad material, didn't like the shape. The sleeve things were kind of cool, but it's just, it's a no. As soon as I put this one on, I, I really just wanted to take it off. I, I just don't like what's going on with the chest area. Once again, A-line is just so underwhelming to me, and I just, it just was not it. My next stop is the Reading Bridal District, which get this, less than 15 minutes from where I live, from my apartment, is North America's largest bridal districts, where they have more than 44 wedding related businesses all in that one little area and of course they have a lot of bridal boutiques as well places where you can get your dress and stop number one in the Reading Bridal District is White Wisteria which I just got an email from them today just giving like a little rundown of like hey here's what's going on and I saw that their average price point is $2,000 which is a little bit mm, I don't know like I'd rather them say their average is I don't know 1500 or something but we'll see We'll see, we're, we're going in there with optimism. A little disclaimer, at this next shop, I ended up trying on a fitted dress, like a mermaid type for the first one because my bridal consultant was like, hey, you might as well just try it on to see if you don't like it since you never have. And I just felt so uncomfortable the entire time wearing this. It's a beautiful dress, it truly is, but I just don't think I really have the body shape for that. I, it, it's just, I didn't feel comfortable in the slightest sense wearing a fitted dress. And also on my wedding, like I always just wanted to be a little more, I don't know, like elegant. And not that, not that this isn't elegant, but it just, we realized, okay, no more fitted. That's not my type. Next up, I really liked that there was a lot of sparkle on this one, but you can't really see on camera, but I just didn't like the fit on me. It almost reminded me, not of like a nightgown, but it's just, I think it's the A-line, the underwhelming A-line in my opinion. And the chest area, it looks a little bit weird to me. I don't know, I just wasn't a fan. This one, I really liked how unique it was and it kind of gave me princess vibes. My big complaint was, I just felt like this was mostly a silver dress. Like if I look at this, it just reminded me silver or like there was just too much silver. I want my wedding dress to be very white, just my personal preference. And also the big thing is my chest does not fit in this type of top. Like I forget what this shape is called, but it really does not have much support. And for my chest, for someone who's a little more busty, you need to support the girls. And there was just, there was no support there. <laughs> this one was really pretty. It also kind of reminded me princessy. I love a sweetheart top, but overall I just didn't really like how it looked on me. It's funny because before trying on dresses, this is actually what I would have described. Like, oh, this is what I like. Like, like this is exactly what I would have shown you, but when I was trying it on, I just didn't like it. It's so weird how that works. You could just like the way something looks on someone else, but just not on yourself. And I think what I hated the most about this one was just the whole bottom. I just don't like whatever material that is, whatever's going on down there. This one had a really pretty train. I mean, I would have certainly made an entrance at the ceremony, but I realized like I'm not even that much of a fan of trains. It's just for the ceremony and for pictures. And then you're, you, you bustle it, but then it's like heavy. Like I just, I realized I'm not really that much of a big train gal. It was very glam, that is for sure. Definitely making a statement. I kind of ended up liking the sleeves a little bit. Like I never thought I'd be a sleeves gal like that, or not sleeves, but it's like the straps that fall on your shoulders. But overall, like this one, I was kind of just like, let's let's take this off. This one, I really did like. Like I really liked this one. And honestly, we all had a moment there where I was like, is this the one? And I feel like my mom and the bridal consultant were like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, this is the one. In my head the whole time, I was just like, I just don't feel the same as the first one I tried on. It was really pretty. It had the sparkles, the glitter, which I'm kind of maybe a little more, I don't know, like bougie like that. Or I, I just like glitter and sparkles, okay? I, you know, it's just who I am. 
And I really did like the top of this. It's like that sweetheart that's kind of flattering and I like how it doesn't really show too much because it's like shaped to you. And I love this one so much that my bridal consultant told me to go outside and just like see how it sparkles in the light, which felt kind of ridiculous because there were cars driving by and my mom's finger is just insane in this clip. And by the way, if you ever see me wearing a veil for any of the dresses, that's because I liked it enough for the bridal consultant to pull a veil. It's like a thing they do if you really like it. Like, oh, I like to look at the full look. And another thing with this that's interesting is that Here's a fun fact, most wedding dresses, like 95% of them are ivory. They're actually not called white. And I learned this at the first place I went to, a white wedding dress can almost be like fluorescent and that's what this one was that I tried on, almost like that really fluorescent white. Another bridal consultant told me in her eight years in the bridal industry, she has sold one white dress. Next stop is Carrie Carabo in the Reading Bridal District. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I honestly have no idea. This is one that everyone and their mother has told me I must visit, which I'm a little bit hesitant just because they do sell some pretty expensive dresses, like $4,000 and in that price range that is just not part of my range, but I gotta check it out. This one was okay and it was very classic and classy and I like that. I did like the shape of it. it. had a really pretty train as well, but once again, I'm not really that much of a fan of the train. And I did like how it cinched at the waist, like it kind of like sucked you in a little bit, but ultimately it just didn't have that it factor, if that makes any sense. Like I, f I feel like an idiot even saying that. What is the it factor? But like truly, it just didn't have that where I try it on and I instantly smile. I kind of tried it on and was like, all right, let's get the video and take it off. And then this one, are you ready guys? This is the one that my mom wanted me to get. That is right, my mother and I had two different picks, which was very confusing, but I, ultimately, my mom's the best and she would never like, you know, make me go with anything. I'm just a very guilty person, so knowing someone thinks something differently, it really impacts me, but with wedding dress shopping, that was one thing, like I just really had to stick to my guns. This one was just covered in lace, and we have established I don't like lace, but I didn't realize that until much later. It had those straps, which were cute, but ultimately, like, I just, I, I like, and I don't, I do not mean to be offensive, but if I were to describe this dress in one word, it almost reminded me, like, matronly. I don't know, like, I just didn't feel beautiful in it. Like, that's what it comes down to. The one I chose, like, I truly felt beautiful. This one, not so much at all. And it was after this appointment that I, like, thought I was gonna have a nervous breakdown. So, I think I am the only human on planet Earth who did not really enjoy wedding dress shopping. Or I guess, you know what, like I enjoyed day one, but then once I saw another place and then another place, it just, like it's not even that it confused me, but I just started feeling bad. Like I'm speaking with three bridal consultants. They're taking time out of their day to help me. They're all so sweet. And I'm gonna be disappointing two of them because two of them aren't gonna be making the sale. And like, I just couldn't get that out of my head. Like every time I was trying on dresses, like all I'm thinking is, I am I gonna disappoint you? Are you the one? Like, I don't know. I like that just, I don't know. That really ruined it for me kind of, I'm just being honest. I know this is supposed to be like upbeat and like, oh my God, it was so much fun. But I just hate disappointing people. I want everyone to be happy. I want everyone to make the sale. And like, I just like feel like I was just letting everyone down. I don't know. And also not to mention, like I really just don't like being the center of attention and like being up on the pedestal and just like, I don't know, it just was not, not for me personally. And I, I just had to cancel tomorrow's appointment. Like I, I can't do this again. I can't have another person to add to the list of disappointments. And I just, I know, I know the dress. Like I know the dress I want. I tried it on, I was smiling so much in it. Like I wasn't smiling at anything else, but right now, like I just need like, I just need a drink. I actually had a whole nother appointment the next day. I booked four appointments. I was like, we're getting the content. I had to cancel it. Like I just couldn't handle telling another bridal consultant, I'm not buying your dress. Like I just felt so bad because they're all so nice and they all give so much of their time and it just stinks that no matter what, you're gonna have to disappoint someone. Like I, I know at the end of the day it happens, but it just, Mm, it just really bothered me and like by the by the third appointment like I was just a ball of just stress and anxiety and not good like you could see it in my face I just was not in a good place at that appointment and I know it's my fault and I know it's so silly of me to create stress and anxiety during such a happy time I feel like you see like say yes to the dress and actually that show's full of drama but mostly they're like whoa we're trying on wedding dresses and that just wasn't me I mean from the beginning I did not want this to be 
a whole big thing. Like that's the reason it was just me and my mom. I'm just not the type of person, like I didn't want to bring friends and then like, I don't know, like for, like try on dresses and force them to look at me and then force them to say like, you look great. I, I hate that. Like, like I don't mean to be mean, but the only opinion that matters is mine. Like, and, and that's just the truth. Like I just genuinely like, you might think this looks great on me, but like if I don't feel good in it, then it doesn't matter. And that's what you see on Say Yes to the Dress, even though it's obviously like a fake show. But that's what you see. I mean, like the mom is like, you look bad in this. And it's just, you don't need a bunch of opinions. And that's why I took my mother and it was so good because she was just so supportive of whatever I wanted. Like, thank you. I mean, that is where I truly would have had like an anxiety attack. If my mom was like, you look awful in this and you can't get that. Like, that's where I would have, it would have been bad. But ultimately I am so excited for my wedding and it stinks that I can't show Zach until my wedding. Like he's the first person I want to be like, look, look what I found and I can't and it stinks. But I, that's just obviously going to make it that much more exciting when he sees me, whether we do a first look or down the aisle, we still haven't made like a definitive decision. I know him seeing me as I walked down the aisle is like just nothing beats that. But logistically, when it comes to pictures and actually being able to be present at your day, it makes so much more sense to do a first look because I'm gonna have all of my favorite people all in one place. I don't wanna be taking pictures in a field, you know? Well, not a field, but where I'm getting married, there's like a lot of green grass. Like I wanna experience every second I can with my family and friends at the cocktail ceremony as well. So cocktail ceremony, cocktail hour. I kind of am leaning toward the first look. And here's the thing about it. Zach is not like, when I walked down the aisle, he's not, like, even if he hasn't seen me before, he's not gonna cry. He's just, he's just not, I just know it. So let's all prepare for that. I told him like, I'll pay him if he can like fake a tear, so we'll see. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We have a lot of exciting things coming up. More wedding planning content, so comment below if you want anything specifically. Obviously my moving content and just traveling content. And like, as you can tell, there's a lot going on. So I have a lot of uh, things I still need to do for all of that. But yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have my social media down below as well. It's just my name, Clancy Burke, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.